back to the Medusa, though. Right. It's not necessarily a tinker catcher, though. When it comes to catching this tinker, it's not the best team for... I mean, Darks here and Earth Spirit, I guess, are potentially okay. It's uh, it's not the easiest at. No. This is really interesting dual lane because Bane is usually one of the kings in dual lanes, but it's really difficult to trade against a CK and a Lich because they're pretty tanky, especially once they have frost armor available as well. And of course, they can deny the or can deny the creeps, pull the creep plays back all the time. So it's difficult for Poppy to really trade efficiently here. You can see he tries to he's, he tries last hitting our men. Oh. Yeah, they're going in. Actually, it's DNZ. Nice roll in eventually. Mid one. Blocking it off. Yaps are being here as well, though, and DNZ gonna be turned in the end. Yaps are credit for the first blood. So I saw him rolling in, but he did not see, and neither did I initially, but Elder Titan also happened to be there at that point. So again, the Tri versus Trilin is online, and to the advantage of the secret so far, but now mid one could be in some trouble. The Poland of Oliver right there on the CK gets that kill. Will it come at a cost? No, in fact, the Chaos Ball hits Elder Titan, and now he could be in some trouble. Cross Blast hits, and the final auto attack from DNZ. In fact, Oliver gets credit for the kill even, so everybody, of course, the kills also. Fata's has a full level ahead as well, and look, he's bullying 9 out of the lane, and if he hits level 6, he can go for a soul kill. Like, the way he's been for him, well, now 9's level is selling a full mid lane. He can jump the Tinker. Tinker, nice boulder smash on 2, but out comes the stomp in response, and the after looking to set up a turn kill, if anything, on a DNZ here. Or here it overextends, the rocket's coming out, and Wilpin, no! The infused raindrop initially, but Puppy will take him out. That comes into play, but I mean, if you are Brewmaster here, does he continue to bully the lane, you think, or would you actually like to see him maybe move to the middle? I think it's they don't really need to move him at all, right? If he keeps up, if he keeps the Dusa down, and as long as his team doesn't die, and which they're currently not, why shouldn't he just stay here? Well, as I say that, though, Tinker's being gone on again. Yeah. All right, now he dies. <laughs> okay. well, maybe. <laughs> maybe you want to overthink that a little bit. Oh. Or think about that. Yeah. <laughs> Mid one couldn't do anything there. The nightmare attempt to try to save him coming out from Puppy, but it just wasn't gonna be bottom lane. They're going in, Fata. And he has the split action right here. The stomp sets this up, and there's the lockdown initially with the earth ruling. And you just see that damage. Easy kill. Back to the middle lane, though. Puppy falls as that's happening. So obviously still an advantage for Secret in terms of the one for one there, but at least Penta making something out of it. Play. Be active early. Oh, Puppy finds Earth Spirit. Or do they fight Puppy? That's the question. Yeah. And it kicks him away, and that'll be the end of that. But they oh, also, as I suggested, yeah, they're going to the top lane. We're gonna go after Lone for an early kill. I think this is such a good play. I don't think they expect this at all because they just see the Earth Spirit roll away from this top lane. Phantasm, there we go. Rihanna Red Bull and Ace has no chance to get out of this. Well, maybe he does. It's having more. Initially helping, actually. The tree blocks also come into play. After coming with the Echo Stop, he'll hit two heels. Our man, does he have a frost blast? He does, and the boulder smash will finish it from D. I'll use it here. Bottom lane. Play. Uh, this, was a, this was a smoke from Secret, and it got dispelled by the Earth Spirit, so they can't really go for it. Don't even think, even if the Archbishop hadn't been there, I'm not sure they can really go for it because they don't have a good a good way of initiating the CK to like to really lock him down. I mean, their initiation right now is just walking up to him and then like popping, popping the Brewmaster. Going after Brewmaster. As you mentioned, that pops up, pops the promise split though, and now he's going to turn the chain process, bounce it around as well as the Earth Splitter coming out from Yapster, so they get the one cone Earth Spirit now. You got Oliver trying to run. That's not going to work. He eventually gets hit by the boulder of the Earth Drilling. And finished off, so nice turn from Secret. Take an E-Blade combo. Uh, so I do think the Aghanim's e has to be it. Fata bottom lane, that chain frost dealing so much damage itself. The Reality Rift stops the Primal Split, and they get the kill. Great burst damage coming out from Penta Sporta. Eventually right there. And they, they finish more as a result. Echo Stomp from Yapser. He went in a little bit too early. That TP took a little bit longer than expected. Oliver's running in the back lines. DNZ already here as well. They catch Tinker. They stun him initially. Boogie falling over the back to wall combination. And they're going to kill mid one as a result. I don't know if they're going to get more. Maybe the bear, Oliver. Overstepping. Has to be careful. Not the most life to work with. And actually, the stone gaze could be fought by nine. Continuing to force back Secret and ending that fight in its full kill on the neutral. He just searched that. Pretty annoying to deal with. Middle lane, what's going on here? We got a wraparound. That's a uh, smoke gate gonna be taken out. Fantastic Army gets three illusions. He's going in for a master coming to another trap. But the pole and near one shot on the feet. He hammers himself though. That's how comes the chain frost bouncing around the ears, but in the backlash, it's just chaos in this fight. Midwell looking to finish off RMN, meanwhile, but not in time. 
as he reloaded right there. So, so far, Bane is the only one dead. TNC hits the motor smash on a Tinker, as Tinker went a little, a little bit too far with that blade dagger. Him was in trouble now. The stogie is activated from nine. They make it the kill on Earth Spirit, but they're going to take out Tinker in response. If anything, down goes the Tinker as expected. TNC is actually still alive throughout all this. Another great boulder smash. It's not going to be enough to stay alive, but eventually will fall. So, Chaos Knight did eventually get picked off back here, by the way, in the way back line. So. Actually ends up being a two for two. So it's more than five. Where have we been Nine's actually popping. Wow, he just melted right there. The minus armor kicking in the radiance burn as well. Sitting on top of him. So they end up chasing on Medusa. And what will seem an iffy there for a second for Secret actually ends up being uh, overall pretty good. He's even denies his own launch, uh, his own bear, so they don't even get that. And yeah, this it looked like a nice play from, from Pentan, but Secret were fully prepared for this because they themselves actually wanted to go for a kill. Well played oh, by Dane from... there as well. To, yeah, he used the Fiend to ultimately get the kill, but... And in other cases, for example, in the last game, which hero do Secret build it on? On the Omni Knight? Nah, you're gonna need other items first. True, yeah. So that's, that's, that's usually how it happens in that's dead Bane, is it? Oh, Oliver going in, picks off Bane. He's fighting the Brewmaster, though. Of course, the major kick in the wall. Combo of the vacuum for the Darks here with the Merc Splitter on top with the Stomp. And Oliver is now dropping the Burn of the Radiance, also assisting. Eventually takes him out. Lift going up in the air, brought back down. Eventually going to be picked off nine. Goes up the Stone Gates. He's going to be lifted up now by the Brewling. Gets the Stone up on several heroes, but eventually comes back down. And that nine could be in a bad spot. The Mana Shield saving it for the time being and good before staff away. So you see a live DNC, Boulder Smash in the back lines, but he just melts as he runs in to apply his Magnetize, but I don't know if that was necessarily worth it is until they can, can feel comfortable. Well, for sure. And, and this is also one of those cases where, you know, net worth is quite deceptive. You look at the net worth of the Deuce and you think to yourself, well, she's technically only 1k behind the Tinker and only sort of like 5k behind the Laundrette. But if you go by the items, she it feels like she's behind so much further than just 5k because the items that she's going for are just very defensive in nature. They don't really help her progress the game or like, or be more, you know, be stronger, but if anything, just helps her die less than she is currently. And um, that's just not really the position you want to be in. And usually you have to rely on the other heroes to make up for that. But then you have a Dark Seer, the three position, who's more utility based, right? If this was a different off, I'm not saying that Dark Seer was a bad pick, but if this was a different offline, if this was a Brewmaster, they would be able to do so much more. Oh, oh I say that! The big wall combo on top of the center stop as well as the boulder smash, but in comes the extra stop from Yap to center spot. The promise split's gonna be activated as well, and the Yard Splitter doing even more damage. The Stone Case act to throw out this, but down goes the Earth Spirit. Buyback on a Tinker, so he didn't die in the midst of that, but the Fiend's Grip pulled him Dark here, gets him picked up as well as Chaos Knight dying throughout the buyback on a Dark Seer. Chaos Knight does have one as well. He sees the Chain Frost bouncing around. We'll see K buy back. Ace, he's getting pretty low. Remember, he does have the Aegis. So if he falls right here, gonna be coming right back up. There we go, Mystic Snake will finish the job. Gonna come back up in a couple of seconds. What a fight we just had, though. And a buyback on a Tinker for this. Can Secret actually break the base now, especially without the Aegis? It seems a little risky. Maybe I need to criticize Darkseer more often? That was <laughs> absolutely insane. And that one ward set it up. You know, finally they have they have the vision there, so they can so they can go for these kind of plays. Before they couldn't really find those openings because th their map is dark. Like outside of that ward, they don't have anything up either. So great timing from them, but unfortunately, you know, with the Tinker buyback, they're still gonna lose the CS3 most likely. Looks impossible. CK ten more seconds again. Had a buyback this whole time, but didn't want to have to use it. They're gonna. That was quite the investment right now, and. I think if you're Penta, you just try to go for kills right now. I mean, I think they should just walk up. Oh, well, I guess they're going for it. I am. The BP target and Elder Titan. Bacha jumps in. Promo split. Gonna be cancelled. He got vacuum in. Silenced on up. So they do pick off the Absur. Fiend's Grip walking on Earth Spear from a distance. Oh, that eighth one, man. It's four stab away. Still not enough. But the Reality Rift pulling on Bane. A couple of shots later. Almost dies Nightmare, though. He's helping a stall. Keeps Puppy alive. The Mystic Snake unable to finish him either. He actually will manage to stay alive. Throughout DNZ Boulder Smash hits a couple of Brewlings. Boogie's trying to continue with escape. Which, by the way, it's not only the the leash not mattering, but be like a polar bear after death. They find another kill though. It seems like another time to be the prime target ace. Eventually gets caught by DNZ, but now it's mid one spamming out the rockets. The silence is gonna miss him, and the thunderclap will help to finish off the job on Earth Spirit. So you can tell Penta Sports they they were happy with the Elder Titan kill.
They were happy to get out after that. The illusions of the Phantasm, 20 more seconds, but they're going to be picked off now. They're trying to retreat. So Phantasm will be on cooldown for another 100 plus seconds for Chaos Knight. They can't really go high ground right now either, because and I think they know that. And in the in the time they wait for the next Roshan, they have to find those kills. Otherwise, they're just not really you know effective. Like their heroes don't. I mean, outside of the Lone Druid and the Tinker, they just don't farm well. It's not like Fata's gonna amass like a huge amount of gold. Um, they have to find those kills with these heroes, and looks like they find the Dusa again. Yeah, no, can they actually kill her? No, no, she's not the target. Comes out and definitely not the target. In fact, Bane is gonna end up dying for this. After keeping him alive on the longer. Oh, Fata, he wants to go in actually. Looking to fight this. On the Brewmaster, splits on up. Chain Cross is bouncing around, dealing plenty of damage. Pulls him on the Earth Ruling. Storm 1 gonna end up dying in the back lines, and now it's just the Earth Ruling actually. They pick this one up, that's gonna be a kill, and they get it! That's a six kill streak stopper. Fata, that was a very aggressive jump. Now, meanwhile, there was a bit of a distraction. You see Lone Druid with the bear pushing the middle lane as well, but I was just getting at the Lone Druid bear dying. It's on cooldown, and they knew that's why they committed so much to killing that second bear right there. Because yeah, Lone Druid has another 40 seconds before it's back up. So right now, he's not 100% useless, but a lot less useful. Oh, the Tinker getting caught out. It's a big call. Meanwhile, the Kinder, he doesn't have a buyback! He goes down right here, he's staying, he's staying alive still a little bit longer somehow, but 100 seconds mid one's down for. What is happening? He summons it, so got and got the third and final range racks at least. So it's just two melee racks that are up, bottom and top, that are preventing mega creeps now. And again, it just feels like though, if you're Penta, it's just inevitably a matter of time before that mega creep. The Majin Yaps would die here, so good find out to him, but he has a buyback. They, you know, even if they pick off mid one here somehow, he's TPing out, and so they won't get him. Again, unless they can kill the bear without Lone Druid ready to summon another one, Radiant's they just don't really have a chance, it feels like, right? Yeah, it feels so, it feels kind of super old mid lane. That's my nice initiation, yeah. But again, it's going to result in anything. Probably not. In fact, Oliver. Be careful not to get turns. What was used for this? Rocket. Lasers being coming out, and Oliver's definitely in trouble now. He's going to be hexed up, in fact, by Tinker. Meanwhile, top lane's being pushed in. Guess what? By the bear. Number K will save Oliver for the time being. Lich may end up falling because of this, but definitely worth the sacrifice. Stay alive in here. But again, it's it's just it's just more time being bought for secret, as Elda says. And the bear goes back again, but this time around they expected it. They're like Well, even if they expect it, they can't really do anything either because of the talent as you pointed out earlier. For the bottom, nobody's TPing back currently. I mean this is going to be the melee rack. Who back door. Uh, it's, gonna it's gonna take, take some time though. Time, but you're right. Meanwhile, back up here. Let's take a look. Tinker's up in 10 seconds. Other thing, got big topic. Fires back immediately. So they might just be committed to this. Yeah, they're picking it out, but it's like, why not? They got a great self save. Fanta goes in. Bravo split up. Echo stomp hits multiple. Your screen's good block by the ledge. He's gonna get out of it. Some way, somehow, Earth Splitter pulls in. Oliver, he's got the PKB though. So he's still good to go for the time being. Gonna be wearing off shortly. Down from the back line. Hits Tinker. He's running right. They're gonna head for him. Tinker. Hexed up, doesn't really matter though, runs away, Stone Game, also not going to be the chase at 9. Very defensive, Brewmaster comes back together in the front line, Spain is here. Fata jumps in as well, buyback from Darks here by the way, as he eventually went down. Earth Spirit also ends up falling, no Chaos Knight. He's out of firepower, man. No Phantasm, he eventually falls, has buybacks, but it just seems like that was all for naught. They get Mega Creeps, they buy back on what they have, might as well. And uh, it's really difficult for Penta to fight right now. They definitely need the rape here. And oh, Boogie dies. He doesn't have buyback. He bought back. It's a dieback. Yeah, so he's dead for 99 seconds. And that definitely is a bit of an opening for Secret. That's a bit of crowd control that they're missing out on now. And Secret, although they don't even necessarily need to just go for a finish here, it feels like they could. They could. I mean, they're trying to get the Aegis as well and the Refresher Shard, and they're going to definitely get that. I mean, Lone I guess, could even get the Refresher Shard here, like a just-in-case. Probably gonna pass it off eventually. Point is, they get the Aegis. The rest of the team beating down Tier 4. This could be the beginning of the end in favor of Secret, though. I like how Aether... Oh. It's Rip. He's good blocking on RMA. Feels good for now. Nine pops the Stone Gates. It's Rip. We gotta try something. Cal's Knight fights back here. Stop. Yes, we do. So, though, the laser lock down gets the kill on Earth Spirit. There's the Riata Rift pull in on middle one. Middle one may end up falling. He's up for 100. He has a buyback. He uses it immediately. The agent died about half life and vulnerability stalling a little bit by going right for it. Is the bear in secret? Gonna take game three, it looks like. And 
does take two games to one and advance up to the finals. Well, they'll be matched up against Kingway with a chance to go to the Galaxy Battle Major Tournament in the European region on the line. A uh, very valiant effort for Penta. Honestly, huge props. Like, being able to force Secret to to this extent, like... I mean, you, you really, they really pushed Secret, right? You could definitely tell that Secret at some stage were feeling the pressure. They knew the only way they were going to get this game is by sending the bear in and trying to buy as much time for the bear as much as possible. And uh, I'm not even sure if, if you can really point out too many mistakes from Penta. I think at the end of the day, it's also Secret playing really well. Yeah, Penta maybe missed a couple of openings here and there. And obviously, the Drusa being behind for most of the game is also what sort of contributed to this loss. But... Penta still played really well. I gotta give it to them. Um, game two, especially, you know, really strong performance. And even in this game three, strong performance as well. But, you know, Seeker was just the better team today.